Hi, today we will see a short video on how to change the Odyssey's database password when the password is unknown. To change the database password for CA Workload Automation AE, we can use the Change Database Password option in the Odyssey Secure CLI that is provided with the Workload Automation AE. However, if the current Odyssey's database password is unknown, we cannot use the Odyssey Secure CLI to change the password. This video will provide us with a workaround on how to change the Odyssey's database password when the password is unknown. First of all, we have to go ahead and stop the application server and schedule a services for CA Workload Automation AE. So go to services and stop the services like that. Please note that in case of a high availability setup, we need to stop the WAAE services on the primary, the shadow, and the tiebreaker. Then change the Odyssey's user login password from the database end. In case of a dual event server configuration, the password must be changed on both the databases. Following this, we proceed to make the changes in the workload automation AE configuration. To do this, we will bring up the CA workload automation AE administrator user interface. We'll proceed to the event server section. This is the old password. We will continue to key in the new password and then click on apply to save the changes. Please ensure that this change is carried out in the primary, the shadow and the tiebreaker servers in case of a high availability setup. This is how the database password is changed in Windows. Let's see how we can do the same in Linux. Log into the Odyssey server as the Odyssey user and run the Odyssey secure utility. In here, we can select the Get Encrypted Password option, which will bring us to the next menu. We'll select Encrypt Password for instant conf instance configuration. It will prompt you to enter a new password, and you can copy the encrypted password. Update the Odyssey's config file and replace the encrypted password in the DB access parameter. This is the existing credentials for the database. As you can see, you have the Odyssey's user followed by the encrypted password. So we need to replace this with the current uh, encrypted password and save this file. Once you have done that, we will start the workload automation AE scheduler and application services. And as again, and in case of a high availability setup, please remember to start the WAA services on primary shadow and the tiebreaker servers. This is how we change the Odyssey's database password when the current password is unknown. Hope this video was useful and in case you need more information on workload automation AE, please proceed to our product documentation, CA communities and the learning paths.